and welcome to the November, the first of the November films for PEPELT. PEPELT stands for Picture Books in European Primary English Language Teaching and my name is Sandy Mordell and I talk about picture books as object. This month we are talking about the work of Judith Kerr, um, a British author illustrator and you may be familiar with her, her book The Tiger Who Came to Tea, this is her first um, picture book and the Mog books. Uh, about the, um, the, the cat mog and um, as the month goes you're going to encounter a couple more of her of her uh, picture book titles she also wrote When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit which was uh, an account of her refugee um, of, of her experience as a child refugee um, because she was originally born in Germany and um, her father was a Jewish um, theatre critic and they had to flee from Germany during the Third Reich um, and um, Hitler, who's Hitler, when Hitler stole Pink Rabbit, is um, an account of that journey. So they went to Switzerland and Paris, France, and then came to London, where Judith then stayed. So, um, yes, yeah, she had an interesting uh, life, and um, is really the, the work that she's d created is very much part of um, British um, um, picture book history. Um, Knowing that we were going to talk about Judith Kerr, I brought um, a biography called Judith Kerr's Creatures, and it's a celebration here of her life and work, and it's full of lovely sketches and just stories that sort of give you another view of, of much of her work, and in particular, the tiger who came to tea, which I'm going to share some of these sort of little tips, little, not tips, snippets, sort of um, tidbits with you. Um, yeah, so this is the book that I'm going to be talking about, The Tiger Who Came to Tea. And this was a book that I bought for my own children and that I shared with them when they were little. Um, it was first published in 1968. This is, um, this is a 1970s edition. And I really like the blurb on the back, which I'd never really thought much about until I started preparing this talk. And so here, here's the um, lovely illustration of, of Sophie, the main character on the tiger there. And it says, the tiger who came to tea has delighted children for over 20 years. This book was um, published in the 70s, so that's why it says 20 years. Um, when it was first published, Antonia Fraser called it a dazzling first book, which could, which could cause children to scream with delicious pleasure at the dangerous naughtiness of the notion. <laughs> I love it. The dangerous naughtiness of the notion of a tiger coming to tea. <laughs> so, um, Judith Kerr wrote this book um, because um, when um, she was a young mother, she was looking for books for her own daughter, um, Tacey, that's it, Tacey. Um, and she couldn't really find any, so she would tell Tacey lots of, of stories and they would make them up together. And then when Matthew came along, her son, who they also called Matty, um, they, they um, sort of, stories kind of emerged and um, um, were created not just by Judith, but by the children. Um, and the tiger that, who came to tea was one of their favourites. In fact, it was their favourite, according to Judith Kerr, um, because it was created, um, the story was told because um, the father and her husband worked with the BBC and it would come home very late, and so they would often have tea by themselves, and it was very boring. So they invented a story about something quite exciting coming to tea. Um, and their favourite bit was always the bit where the tiger drank all the water in the tap. <laughs> That's my favourite bit as well, actually. I was thinking, that's very, very funny. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah. And it was originally called Tacey's Tiger. And it was called Tacey's Tiger because, and the reason the tiger came to tea was because Tacey loved the tigers in London Zoo, which is where Judith used to take her in the afternoon for a walk. Um, so when um, Judith created the picture book, she took it to Collins, the publisher, and wondered if they would like to publish it. And they were a bit iffy about the title Tacey's Tiger. They didn't like the name Tacey because that was unusual at the time and they didn't think it was very appropriate. So uh, they decided on the name of Sophie, which was the publisher's daughter's name. And Sophie didn't sound so good with Tiger, Sophie's Tiger. So they came upon the title, The Tiger Who Came to Tea. Um, and Sophie became the main character instead of Tacey. But if you look at the um, dedication of this picture book, you will see it is dedicated to Tacey and Matty. And those are Judith's two children. Tacey is her daughter and Matty is her son. Math Matty is short for Matthew. And so that's a nice little sort of thing to share with the children that you are sharing the picture book with. 
Something else which I really like is written and illustrated, this idea here of it being written and illustrated by Judith Kerr. You don't often see that on the front cover. It's also on the title page here, look, written and illustrated by Judith Kerr, that lovely picture of Sophie on top of the tiger. And um, it's... When I, when I, bought, um, when I um, bought this book and I began to look at it, um, these are just some of the illustrations that, are, that, that, that fill the book. You've got all the sketches that Judith Kerr t did of the tigers in London Zoo when she was preparing to make the book. Also the sketches of the kitchen, and you might recognise those there, her kitchen in her house. Lovely. And um, there's a nice little picture here, a sketch here of a bicycle. Uh, you probably can't see it, but it's in the, this bit here. It's got um, Matthew's butchers, and of course Matthew, that was her son. And I was very excited when I saw that. So I thought, well, let me just check, because I'd never noticed that on the bicycle in the book. But no, it's it, the name changed to Smedley's something or other, so <laughs> she didn't keep that one in. But I thought it was really nice. Um, and something else that that um, so she the sketches for this were done of the tigers in London Zoo. So that's a nice thing to share with children as well. Um, and then. This is just a personal thing that my children and I, my own children and I, we always giggle at the fact that, you know, that Sophie couldn't have a bath. So she got into her nighty, but she couldn't have a bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. And then when daddy came home and they told him the story, he said, oh, we can all go out for tea, which is great. But then she didn't get back changed again. And she went out for tea in her, in her nighty. And we also, that was very silly. And she put on her Wellingtons <laughs> with her nighty. It was very funny. And I thought that maybe that there would be some mention of that in the, in, in the biography there, but there, there isn't. So I don't know why, but I do love her tights. Don't you think they're wild? They are so cool. Those lovely um, Czech tights. Um, now, Tiger Who Came to Tea has been made into a play, and it was um, highly acclaimed. Um, and also, there's a permanent exhibition at the Seven Stories um, Museum for Children's Books in, or for Children's Literature in um, uh, Newcastle. Um, and there's a huge, great big gigantic tiger that you can sit next to and have your photograph taken with and have tea with him, of course. <laughs> um, so yes, it's a piece of, it's a classic piece of British literature, uh, children's literature, and um, it's a, it has a very um, warm place in my heart. Um, so yes, if you do share it with any children, do pass on those little snippets of, of information which just make the book sort of, they bring the book closer to you and make it far more real. So I hope that you enjoy November. Um, a great big thank you to Judith Kerr for contributing to um, the um, history of children's literature in, in Britain. <laughs> and, and, you know, this is still a classic. You still find it on bookshelves in bookstores and, um, yeah, and in libraries. Have a great month of November and I will see you in December. Bye-bye. <laughs>